welcome back to the bookworms buddy today I know I said I wasn't gonna have another book haul but today I have a book haul um, I got together with my dear friend Susan that I met on Goodreads a few years ago now and uh, we tried to make these little <clears throat> meetups and so we went for breakfast and we went over to our used bookstore and I have a book haul now so let's just get started first book I have here um, I was really attracted to this cover and it's called want to play by PJ Tracy um, it says here Minneapolis a brutally cold autumn and a killer is at work two bodies are found two slains that the police treat as unrelated but games creator Grace McBride knows different the murders are exact copies of those in the game that she's designing so I thought that sounded so good in the bag so that one looked really good and this one is A Matter of Grace by Jessica Barksdale in Clan. Um, this is going to be a contemporary. I do have another book by her, and I can't remember what the title of that one is. This one is The Fire Within by Chris DeLacy. This is book one of The Last Dragon Chronicles. This is middle grade. Uh, my sister brought me, you can see on the back, here's a couple of the books. It's actually, I think, four. No, there's six, I think. And all so yeah we don't have all of them but she brought me three of them this last summer so yeah we picked that one up because they had it next one we got here is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon and actually over the last couple years I've been picking these books up and didn't realize how many of them I had had I picked up the last book that was up there I would have had them all so I didn't I just picked up Outlander because I've been wanting to get this one I've been hearing a lot about it so yeah Next one here is Slow Burn by Brenda Jackson. Um, this one is, she's an attorney and she suddenly discovers that she is adopted but finds out that her mother, her biologic mother died but she does have a brother so we'll see what that one turns. It was only a dollar, it was on the sales rack so I picked it up. Next one we have here is Weave World by Clive Barker. I've been hearing a lot about this in my group with some of my friends in there and how they've enjoyed this book. So I was over looking at horror and saw that they had this and I decided that I would pick it up. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. I've not read any Clive Barker before. And then we've got Betrayal by Fern Michaels. This is not a sisterhood book. Um, the sisterhood series is the, the the group of sisters, they call themselves sisters, uh, they're vigilantes kind of, and this one's not a part of that, but I still figured I would pick it up and give it a shot. Um, they had this on the sales rack, got it for a dollar. This one is One Last Scream by Kevin O'Brien. And I do have another, maybe two books by him. So um, he's mystery, so this one should be pretty good. Um, it actually, 12 women have vanished, leaving behind no trace or clue the whereabouts still a mystery after, even after 11 years. Uh, Amelia Faraday is a beautiful, smart, and walking disaster. Suffering from blackouts, she also suffers from something worse. The feeling that she is personally involved in a series of deaths. So, that's that one. Next one, this is a Christian um, writer, and I've heard a lot of great things. Plus, I read Comes a Horseman by him and loved it. This is the author is Robert Liparulu or Liparulo, sorry, and this one is Germ. And I saw this one, and I just hauled another one by him in the last book haul. So I've been really wanting to get his books because I love *Come a Horseman*. And this one, look at this cover. I thought it was awesome. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Then I picked up a K. Hooper also on the sales rack. Uh, most of these were on the sales rack. Um, this one is called Hiding in the Shadows. I've not read K. Hooper yet, but I do have um, I do have a couple books from, I think it's a series of hers, but I'm not for sure yet. But she's a mystery author and she's compared to Lisa Jackson and Tammy Hogue and all those, so I love those two writers, so I'm uh, probably gonna like Kay Hooper. Next one we got here, my friend Susan um, K. 
convinced me to get. It is a fantasy. It is an adult fantasy. It's called Hard Magic. It's by Larry Correa. And this one is not your medieval type of fantasies. This one is, he is a private eye, and he's got powers along with the other people in this, um, in this book. This is the first of a series, um, The Grimoire Chronicles. So I'm going to give this a go and see if, you know, illustration, and see if I like this. I'm going to see how I like it, and if I do, then I will continue the series. So I, I like that people can give me books to read that I wouldn't normally read. So, and maybe I can find out there's particular genres that I can actually read, like adult fantasy, as long as it's on the right level of adult fantasy and it's not some epic fantasy. Okay, the next one we got here is I'll Find You by Nancy Bush. Nancy Bush is Lisa Jackson's sister. And no, I've not read anything by her either. I do have the series um, with her and her sister. Uh, the Wicked series, and so I, I figured I'd pick this up. It was only a dollar. It was in the sales rack. And then I picked up a historical, also on the sales rack, The Odd Women by George Gissing. So, this is a stretch right here for me. But it was on the sales rack. I decided I'd pick it up and give it a try. I um, thought the cover was kind of cool. Um... Yeah, it says five odd women, women without husbands, are the subject of par of this powerful novel set in Victorian London by a writer whose perceptions about people, particularly women, would be remarkable in any age and are extraordinary in the 1890s. The story concerns the choices that five different women have to make and what those choices imply about men's and women's status and society relationship to each other. So I thought it sounded at least interesting, so I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot and then I'm in love again with these books I found two more first edition Dark Tower series books by Stephen King so we've got let's do this one first we've got the Dark Tower 5 which is the Wolves of the Kala or Wolves of the Kala not the Wolves yeah look at the cover and again um, great uh, illustrations in there, full full page illustrations all throughout the book. Yeah, and each one of them has the color inside, and they all have that black material. Um, it's kind of like material cover with the gold print on the side, and of course the great color illustrations. And I also got. Number six, Song of Susanna, which is is a close tie to my favorite in the series. Um, again, the insert in the front, and then the uh, full page illustrations. Like here, this one is still really tightly bound. Like I don't even know if anybody actually read it. Um, yeah, so I got those two. These I paid um, ten dollars each for. But I figured it's worth it to get this series. The last one I found was only two dollars because it was on the sales rack. These were not on the sales rack because they were very limited on these. They had a ton of the Dark Tower book seven, and these were the only two they had, or the only one of each of those that they had. And then a book not from my um, excursion to the bookstore. This is a friend of mine. Uh, from my group had sent me. Her name is Melissa. And I was talking to her about this book and how I've been wanting to read this myself because she had just gotten and was going to read it. And she was showing the cover and stuff. I'm like, that is gorgeous. So she sent me one. And uh, thank you, Melissa, for sending this. And now I will get a chance to read it. It's just, it's got that, uh, what is it, French flap in the front? Right here. And I just absolutely love the cover of this book. So I'm going to enjoy this one. I should just pick it up and read it now. But yeah, we've always lived in the castle. And this is by Shirley Jackson. And that is my book haul, guys. I know I didn't wasn't supposed to have another one. 
but I did and I couldn't resist 15% off and um, yeah I think it was like $46 for all of those books but um, yeah that's it if you've read any of these books um, let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video bye